Hi, this is Retro Rocket uh, 108, and this is about uh, Learn of the Jesuit Order, calling Michael Clark uh, some names in a couple of videos. And uh, we've had some comments back and forth. The last one was civil. We uh, I got cursed at a little bit in a couple of comments. I said I pitied him in two of the comments. And now we're being civil with each other. So um, I am really fascinated in not just space, but mythology and modern mythology. And um, Learn of the Jesuit Order, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, uh, believes that all space travel is a hoax. And uh, Michael Clark, who does about a month ago he did his last uh, epic uh, future space which he's my favorite YouTube personality uh, Ben and Carrie Ann of tomorrow or space vidcast come in a close second so uh, I like space news I like discussions about space and and the future of space travel um, learn of the Jesuit order uh, or is it the learn? I'm not sure. He doesn't believe in space travel, although he's not a flat earther. I asked him if he was a flat earther because I just recently saw a video of a man who believes the earth is flat and space travel is impossible. But the guy doing these videos, he believes the earth is round. So um, I'm going to try to keep commenting on his site and I'll probably subscribe to him and try to understand uh, his mindset more because I am fascinated with different belief systems I always have been um, so um, I used to be a real religious person I'm not anymore um, I used to be an atheist and I'm not anymore so I uh, my belief system doesn't seem to fit in anywhere very easily and it's more open-ended than rigid and so I'm very interested how do you get to the point where you don't believe there's satellites or all the space programs by all the countries are hoaxes and uh, why do you believe that so I'm gonna try to figure this out and, um, you know, most people who believe in space and believe in space travel, they just ignore the people who believe in moon hoaxes. And they just ignore people who don't believe in space travel at all or the flat earthers or the hollow earthers for that matter. Um, I'm, I, I'm not as good as Michael Clark or... Ben and Carrie Ann. They have far superior shows. I'm just doing this from my bedroom and you know, now you don't know what's gonna be behind me. I'm I'm doing a mock up for a sci fi movie right now, so that's what that is. But um I think I'm gonna engage the people who don't believe in space travel and maybe not convince them, but try to understand how they got to that mindset. I'm I'm still gonna talk about things I'd like to see in space travel. I'm going to try to do this uh, daily to get used to talking in front of the camera again. So um, anyway, um, that's what this Retro Rocket's about. It's uh, trying to understand, and should we? You know, should we just say that they're... I don't know if it's good to just to dismiss people and... and there's no give and take. So I'm going to try to prove to learn of the Jesuit order that space travel is real. And he's, I'm sure, going to try to prove He may just cut me off, not comment, not want anything to do with it. Maybe he doesn't want to do this. Um, but I'm going to try to find other people who don't believe in space travel or the moon landing and try to figure out how they got to that point. You know, uh, I have friends that don't believe in it. I hear a train coming, so I want to cut this short. 
and uh, you know I can't even reach them <laughs> you know and I'm not really interested in too much changing people's minds on anything but um, I think space travel is important for the future humanity a lot of people don't a lot of people think when earth goes we just go with it and uh, so I, that's kind of I'm gonna get back into doing things about space sports you could do on earth and the best ways to prove that space travel is real to people who don't believe in it so that's gonna be next few days uh, we'll see how it goes <laughs>